Yo, what is up guys? This is Astronax and I'm back for another Tales of Eren gameplay video doing uh, fire massive battles in uh, hard, just speed running them as quick as possible. The, uh, the hell ones are just... it takes a long time to uh, find a group and I prefer to do uh, quick runs like this. It's Woolian tanking in front with double support healers, uh, Nefiru and uh, Angelina. Everyone is uh, fire based beside Angelina, she's light based. Love that her ultimate is uh, the animation is very quick. Oh, that was a very fast run. In uh, fire massive battles, <coughs> of course, mono water teams are the strongest with uh, the mono light teams. The best geared players in this game, uh, the strongest team with the most team power are uh, light based. You could have like a, a top player just destroy Hellfire massive battle in a few seconds basically. Water is very very strong as well. Here of course water counters fire, so they, they have uh, much higher, uh, they're doing much higher damage against fire and they are receiving less damage as well. Mao is my main damage dealer, she's in the back with the fire elemental thing. That's her ultimate, uh, the second part of her ultimate. The initial part is uh, <coughs> a very strong initial hit followed by, uh, let's say, uh, like seven or eight uh, smaller hits. <coughs> And then followed by the uh, the transformation, which like uh, there's a fire elemental that's behind her and has 70% chance to attach. Mm -hmm. 2,000 uh, damage when she auto attacks, <coughs> and he also can do. Uh, oh, another hit on her and she's dead. Oh, the third one was on uh, Mao. On this boss, you can avoid the fireballs. You can see the the cannon lighting up at the bottom part. It's like glowing orange, red. And uh, I mean, it means it's gonna shoot the barrage of three fireballs. You can see a red area below the character uh, characters that will be targeted. So if you only see one uh, red spot on the character, well that character will receive all three fireballs and uh, there's a high chance that he will die or she will die. Yeah, when you create these with, uh, with stamina you have a higher chance of rank ranking uh, in the top three and you do get uh, two extra rewards over uh, joining up with gold. I turned off the, the game sound so let me know if uh, you prefer just the music playing versus having the in-game sound. Two on Mao, one on Wulian. Mao's all Mao almost died there. You can actually die from a, a tick of the damage over time that she that he applies. You see here, Eternal Flame lose HP uh, by five percent every five seconds, lasting three hundred seconds, aka five minutes. And when he breathes. 
on your team when he has three action points and he's in berserk and his meter goes full he breeds and uh, that will consume the damage over time and deal the whole damage instantly so five minutes or, or a bit less worth of damage all at once aka your character just dies my team power is only 338,000 with this team uh, I, mean, I mean I'm not running a full uh, mono fire team because I have the uh, light character and Jelena in here my team with uh, Garcia has uh, 420 thousand power because Garcia increased the team's HP by a considerable amount 50% it is additive it's not multiplicative but it's quite it's quite powerful Mao Nefiru and William you see th three damage over time here wait there was one that went on Rulian and she she took no damage there that was odd she didn't get the damage over time as well. I forgot to open the game. The uh, so Bullion's tanking. She's not like really supposed to be a tank because she she cannot taunt the monsters. But I have her alone in the front line, so she can counter attack as much as possible, and this increases the uh, the overall damage the damage uh, over the period of, uh, over the duration of the whole fight so these two healers are able to keep her alive in the team on top of uh, removing damage over time Nifiru can remove uh, damage uh, dispel uh, like uh, magic uh, effects debuffs like um, Defense down, attack down. My team doesn't have the HP for uh, for eighty. This is a build for. Uh, what if? What if I went like this? What if I did it like this? And then change my title to this. a nice amount of health Mao has a bit less but her defenses are lower uh, higher sorry defenses almost 2000 on her Nefiru I got her plus 3 so that's over 1300 she has lower amount yeah, about the same So Angelina is the one that needs to survive there. So I could enhance this, but I don't have enough costumes for it. 4% will not reach the max. Get a bonus. Got it. Nice. All right, let's try this. They, there's a game that pops up in hell. Let's join it just to see. Oh no. This is gonna be full as well. I'll just create one in hell. Well, yeah, it's just gonna take too much damage though. I need to pause the game 
need to wait for players to join up. Ooh, Leanne's gonna get destroyed though. She would need a triple uh, fire scorch guys uh, co weapon costumes on her to po to boost up her uh, HP pool, her max HP. Uh, let's see how it how it fares here. Also, he will shoot with the cannon in a second. There. Okay. There's a heal coming from Nefiru in a second. Ulian is still alive. Now we need Angelina's ult. She's gonna die in the next hit. I'm gonna do a top up like this with the divinity. Now Angelina takes off the damage over time. And I'm able to survive. So this team could work actually, the setup. In between the divinity, the title, and the overall HP of the whole team, it's, it looks like it's manageable. But we have uh, some strong players that deal a lot of damage. Uh, most likely a mono light team or mono water. This that's great. So the one that's on Mao is maxed, but I have a new one. I, I'm just not sure if it's worth powering up. So this one, I'm not gonna lock this one. Crit rate of fire character 10%. It's good. But uh, what I'm really after is something like uh, crit increase for the whole team. The, how many chances I have left? Two? Use a big one. I'm gonna do the same thing again here. I'm gonna open the game and pause it. Wait for a reinforcement. Because if I, I do this alone, he's gonna go into a fireball frenzy. He's gonna just spam these fireballs. Right, let's go. The game is full. So the full healing here from Angelina and Nefiru is useful. Now Nefiru is not even oh no. Okay, Nefiru is gonna heal. If there's that's the thing, if there's two fireballs that drop on on uh, Wu Lian, it's pretty much over. Then, boom, heal. Have a 50% damage uh, reduction on the whole team now. And Jelena is going to go with her ult. Protect us from... Uh, save us from the breath if, he go, if the boss goes, because that damage is crazy. There's the breath. Big damage to everyone. There is Nefiru's ult that's coming up here. It is quite needed here. The backline is suffering. Low HP. Now what I could do is when he goes for his next round of uh, fireballs, I could just... Uh, pop the heal to top the whole team and have 50% damage reduction ac all across. Defense down on everyone. Need Nefiru's ultimate to be maxed out for this. 
it is not uh, she has like 70 percent chance to remove the damage over time but when they use a skill the divinity allows the team to remove uh, dispel uh, these types of debuffs so this seems to be working out here comes the fireball i'm topping up the team and getting 50 percent damage reduction everywhere Here we go, wow. Oh my god. There's a team buff for HP and a self buff for crit. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's more like it. But I'm gonna keep on farming and I, what I'm looking for is uh, more of uh, something like attack or crit increase for the whole team. But that one is a double buff that's hard to uh, to obtain to obtain a good one like this I mean it can be better you you can actually roll a crit for the whole team uh, this is a tier 4 so you can get crit for the whole team like 7 or 8 percent and you can get it twice so could you imagine getting 14 or 16 crit for your whole uh, whatever element you're running team that's insane damage increase oh Julian He's gonna die oh the save the divinity oh my god it's so close oh she died rip so I would need the uh, I would need more health on the uh, Lulian. So yeah, I mean, this is not a stable team. This is not a stable team, but it's almost there. She Lulian would be would need to be running these uh, fire scorch guys uh, costumes, three of them, and I would need a bit more health, uh, HP increase. Uh, across the team with uh, skill bonuses or uh, more books oh well not looking good guys that's the that's the thing you need to be able to carry here you see everyone's like almost dead Well, rip so there you have it it is not uh, an easy feat as a uh, fire a uh, fire a mono fire team uh, you just you need to get damage over time removal from somewhere else and you need to have enough HP to uh, survive or you got to be quick to move out of the fireballs but even then uh, sometimes there's no way around it because uh, the fireball change position, like it kind of follows you, so uh, you can you can save one person, but uh, not really two. So when he does fireball, I could just move Wulian back every time. This would uh, prevent her from taking uh, a fireball or more than one, and uh, it could work out. But then you you couldn't really save a second one if there's two dropping on your uh, your backline. Actually. You, you basically want enough HP to survive two fireballs and you're pretty much you're pre pretty much good your, your uh, success rate is going to be pretty high alright guys that's it for this one thanks for watching I'm Astronox like comment and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one peace